I just picked up this super cool lightweight handheld welding device from TRQWH. So in today's video, we're gonna see just exactly what this thing's capable of. My initial observations, this thing just seemed really easy to handle and lightweight in comparison to the old school stinger rods, which is kind of difficult to articulate during your weld. Quick overview of this device. We have a quick release button for your filler rod. Up here, you have your on-off switch and your power regulator. So this is, goes all the way one through five. As well as right here, here's your basic trigger to initiate the arc sequence. On the back of your device, you have both of your outlet leads. So this is for your one TED plug, as well as your ground lead. Quick and easy filler rod installation. You just depress this lever, drop in your filler rod and release, and this thing is locked in and ready to go. Moving on to our welding test samples, I have some 16 gauge sheet metal right here. We're gonna stick them together. I have a piece of hot rolled eighth inch steel and another piece of hot rolled 3 16 We'll see how it holds up on this material. For welding rods, I am using E6013 welding rods. Okay, we're gonna power up the unit and you're gonna hear the cooling fan initiate. Now I'm gonna adjust my amperage output. We're gonna start with number two for this 16 gauge sheet metal. Okay, let's clean that up. Okay, that's how that turned out. You can see I had some initial difficulty getting the arc pool started. And once I got it moving along, it turned out pretty good. And I took a second pass at that weld and you can see that this new bead that I ran came out much better. I just think it takes some getting used to using this machine. Next up, I'll be welding this eighth inch to eighth inch with a power level set at 4.5. All right, let's clean that up. I'd say that looks pretty good. Now I wanna see how this machine can do with the big stuff. So this is some 3 16 plate on top and 3 16 on the bottom. I've cleaned it up just a little bit and we're gonna to try to run a bead right along here with it. We'll be using the power level setting five. Okay, that felt pretty impressive. Let's see how it looks underneath. All right, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. This is some 3 16 inch plate with this 110 volt machine. And I had good penetration all the way through here. Here was my fault, I sped up too much and lost my pool. And I gathered it right back here and it continued well. This did a good, this did a good weld. Now we just need to weld that cut C-clamp to the head of that 5 8 bolt. Starting to get the hang of using this machine. This weld came out looking beautiful. Even had some nice coloration to the metal as well. So I gotta say, this is a great little machine to have in the garage or even in the back seat of your truck. This thing is portable, plugs into a 110 and weld any, almost anything you're gonna throw at it on a regular basis. I can use this for my automotive work or as well as working out in the field. Now, if you wanna get one of these, I can get you a 15% off by entering code SCANTRON15 on the links that I have provided below. So I hope you found this video helpful if you want to go out and get you one of these. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.